Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. I have something very exciting I want to share with you. Today I want to show you how from the beginning Yahweh has revealed the plan and the path for redemption and salvation. Now this will not be seen in English translations or any other translation for that matter. It will only ever be seen in the original text which is in the Hebrew. The path of redemption is revealed in the names of the first five books of the Bible. This will be seen in understanding the Hebrew names of these books. We will see the prophetic plan of salvation revealed. But first I want to go through these books, their names in English. The word Genesis has its origins in Greek and Latin. The word Exodus has its origins in Greek and Latin. The word Leviticus, you guessed it, has its origins in Greek and Latin. The word Numbers has its origins in Greek, Latin and French. The word Deuteronomy has its origins in Greek and Latin. One can now see what languages are influencing the translations of our Bibles in this case. And it is not Hebrew as you will see. You may say, well, what's the big deal? It doesn't seem that important. Well, in reply, I would say, really? We are talking about the Word of God here. The changing of words and the redefinition of words from the original context and the original meanings tends to cause one to have a view that may not be in line with the original author intent. There is much that is diluted and even misrepresented when this takes place. Now let's have a look at what these words are and what they mean in their original Hebrew context and the Hebrew language. Now Genesis is the Hebrew word Bereshit, which literally means in the beginning. Exodus is the Hebrew word Shemoth, which literally means the names. Now this word Shemoth is in a plural form. Leviticus is the Hebrew word Waikra or pronounced Vaikra, which literally means, and he called. Numbers is the Hebrew word Vamipa, which literally means in the wilderness. So from Vamipa, we have three English words. And Deuteronomy is the Hebrew word Devarim, which means the words or simply words. It is, again, a plural form. So we can see there is a big difference already between what we have in today's English and what was the original meaning, which was Hebrew. For example, Exodus and names. Leviticus and being called. Numbers and being in the wilderness. I mean, These things simply do not correspond to one another. When one thinks of numbers, they're not thinking of in the wilderness. A story, a prophetic revelation is revealed in the Hebrew meanings of these first five books of our Bibles. That tells the story of the process or the path of redemption and salvation of how to be redeemed and how to be saved. So when we combine these Hebrew meanings of the books together, we get the following. In the beginning, these are the names that God called out in the wilderness. And these are his words. I mean, how amazing is that? We can see from the beginning that God called people out of the wilderness with words. Those of us who are redeemed were called out of a wilderness at some stage with words or by the word 
Yeshua our Messiah. There are some who have backslidden and are back in that wilderness. And God is calling you out again to follow him. You have may, be, may have been in a church and were following the doctrines of men, which many churches do, and that many churches are based on the doctrines of men. This time, you need to apply his words to your life. Those same words are from Genesis 1.1 and not just from Matthew 1.1. Or John 1 1. It's the whole Bible. He wants you to follow him from the beginning, from the very beginning, and not from the beginning of the New Testament. And then there are those who have never responded to the call of God or his words. They are in the wilderness with a void in their life or in their hearts. They have tried all sorts of different things to fill that hole or that void within. And they simply have not worked. Well, if you are listening to this, try God and try his word. Respond to his call, which he is calling you right now through this teaching. That that hole within you may be filled and your life will never be the same again. Again, I want to show you what the first five books of the Bible mean. In the beginning... These are the names that God called out in the wilderness. And these are his words. So friends, we were called out of our wilderness and then he gave us words to apply and follow in our lives. We see Isaiah 46.10, Yahweh says this, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. We can now see that Yahweh literally did declare the end from the beginning. He reveals the process or journey of following him from the beginning. There is so much in the Hebrew text that the English or any other translation for that matter simply does not and cannot reveal. I believe the Hebrew language is the pure language spoken of by David in Psalm 12, 6. And we can see by what I have just gone through, it is a language by design, just like creation itself. Well, Father, we thank you that from the beginning, you have revealed the path of redemption. You have revealed the path of salvation through the meanings of the books themselves. Father, we thank you that you love us and you want to show us and reveal so much to us that it builds faith and confidence that your word is true and that it is inspired by you. And we thank you for that word. We thank you for that truth in the name of Yeshua. Well, I hope that this, this teaching, this message has been an encouragement and a blessing to you. And I pray that it's caused you to draw that a little bit closer to our God. So with that being said, may Yahweh watch over you. May Yahweh bless you and may Yahweh protect you and your loved ones. So until next time, Shalom. If you enjoyed this teaching, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification so that you'll never miss the latest teaching that comes out. Now, if you are blessed, I encourage you to write your comments in the section below. Thank you for watching. We pray that this teaching has been a blessing to you. For more information, please go to www.ancientfoundationbiblefellowship.com. Shalom.